Can you use a black powder substitute with a flintlock? Well, technically, yes. Yes, you can. But it's very difficult. And the reason why it's difficult is because basically what you get with a substitute and a flintlock is a very, very bad hang fire. What's a hang fire? Well, it's the amount of time between when you pull the trigger and the hammer comes down and it the rifle actually goes off. It's the delay between those two things. The reason why substitutes have a bad hang fire is because they have a very slow open air flash rate compared to black powder. This is also why black powder substitutes are qualified as propellants and not explosives like real black powder. For example, if you were to pour some pyrodex on the ground and light it, it burns slowly like a fuse. If you pour some black powder on the ground and light it, it goes off very fast. Well, it's the same principle when you put it in your muzzle loader. With a flintlock, with your hammer and your flint and your frizzin, it relies on that open air flash to ignite the main charge through the touch hole. And since it burns very slow, it takes more time and it's slower to ignite the main charge and set it off. That's why it's difficult with Pyrodex or any other substitute. Now, I don't have a lot of experience with 777 or any of the other various substitutes. Uh, I do have a fair amount of experience with Pyrodex, which is what we're going to be using here. In this case, it's Pyrodex RS, which is the 2F equivalent. Now, I need to warn you, if there's anyone watching this that is a fan of the substitutes and was tragically born without a sense of humor, you will hear several jokes regarding black powder substitutes. Consider yourself warned. So, I'm using my Kibler Southern Mountain Rifle in 45 caliber with a 50 grain charge of Pyrodex, and I'm priming the pan with Pyrodex as well. And let me show you what this looks like. Strike one. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Strike two. You're out. Strike three. Now, this is something that I've seen a lot any time I've tried this, and I haven't tried it in a lot of years because I used to only use Pyrodex, and when I got my first flintlock, this is the kind of stuff I ran up against. But the repeatedly having flashes in the pan and it failing to set off the main charge, that is something I've seen a lot with Pyrodex. So having flashes in a pan without setting off your main charge is something that you can have happen when you're using a substitute in a flintlock. So be forewarned. Now, the next thing I want to show you is something I hear from people often anytime the subject comes up is when I say, yeah, Pyrodex in a flintlock is bad news. It, it just doesn't work. Somebody always says, well, no, it, it can work. You just need a little bit of black powder, you know, to put down the barrel first, like five or 10 grains, and then your Pyrodex charge, and then your patch, and then your ball, and then you can prime it with black powder, and it'll work just fine. So let me show you that. 10 grains of real black powder in there. No. No, I'm about done with this. It's a joke. <laughs> so we'll put 10 grains of real black powder in there. Because all the Pyrodex people are, well, you know, you could use it. You just have to use, oh, what, real black powder? <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll go with 40 grains of Pyrodex on top of that and make it even 50. Hey. What a nightmare. No, 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 no. This is all part of the show. Yeah, you know? no, you don't understand. See, this is better. When you're out deer hunting, this is the way you got to do it. Good. And we'll prime it with real black powder. Well, that went on. So yeah. So that actually worked pretty decent. Uh, it is a pain in the ass to load that, though, because you're having to change from 10 grains with one powder flask and then 40 grains to another powder flask and all of that. So I guess that could work. 
but I wouldn't want to shoot it like that regularly. And also, if you have to use real black powder in order to make the Pyrodex work, why not just use real black powder? So, after having repeated flashes in the pan with the Pyrodex load, I wanted to at least try to get it to fire off reliable one time. So I gave it one more try. And so let me show you that. All right, there's one last try with the Pyrodex. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> and oh, we end on a works. hit. You can shoot that stuff if you don't have any other choice. You can shoot Pyrodex in a flintlock and you can even hit at 220 yards but you can't flinch and you have to be diligent and hold that thing out there steady. And I'm sure that was not a fluke at all, by the way. <laughs> so a little luck never hurt. Now that last shot was at 220 yards. And as much as I would love to be able to say that I could repeatedly make that shot with Pyrodex with that rifle, I'm afraid I can't. But I'll take it just the same. So, overall, this is why you don't really want to use a substitute in a flintlock. Now, if you are one of those people that prefers the substitutes over real black powder for your cap locks, cap and ball pistols, inline muzzle loaders, or what have you, that's great. I'm glad to hear it. I'm not selling anything and I'm not getting paid from GoX, Swiss, or Schutzen, or any other outfit to try and change anyone's mind. If the substitutes work for you, that's fine. Keep on doing that. Just know that you might get made fun of. Are you serious? Now, there is a particular group of people, and I find this kind of strange, but they refer to black powder as the holy black. Now, I don't have any religious convictions when it comes to black powder. I do prefer it, and luckily I have an abundance of it, and I'm able to make it, so I can use it, and I don't have to worry about running out of it, at least not anytime soon. So, as usual, folks, if you thought this video didn't suck, do me a favor and hit the like button, consider subscribing, and if you did think it sucked, well, then go make your own damn video. Mmm. -hmm.